Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching Fortech it's too fast the first android 13 theorems build is here for the oneplus 6 and 60 in the upcoming days lots of android 13 based rom will be released and once its code base gets stabilized we will only see the android 13 roms and their reviews on our channel so before proceeding please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for the notification of upcoming content the amazing developer like Vikas and the team brought the early build of Cherisho's Android 13 base ROM for the OnePlus 6 and 60. So today in this video we will see how to quickly flash this ROM as this is the initial build. We will see what's working, performance test for the new build and the bugs with my final verdict is the daily driver or not. So watch the video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. On a new adventure. I am using the Lineage OS 19 latest build on my OnePlus 6. I was going to release its video but while testing, I got the news for the initial release build of Cherish OS Android 13 for the OnePlus 6. I hurriedly downloaded the ROM to flash and test it. So first time flashing, if you are not on any Android 12 base ROM, then flash the Oxygenos 11 as a base build on the both A and B slots, then flash the Oxygenos 12 TWRP. After this start the flashing as shown on the screen. If you are already on the Oxygenos 12 ROMs then follow the same process as shown on the screen. Put to the TWRP then tap install and then flash the ROM zip file. Now if you want the TWRP on your device then tap advanced then select the flash current TWRP otherwise you will get the default recovery of cherry choice. Now reboot back to the TWRP then tap format and then reboot to the system. If you guess the format failed, then boot to the fastboot and then type fastboot w and then reboot to the system. Fastboot commands are given in video description. So we booted with the amazing Cherish OS Android 13 build with the signature boot animation of Cherish OS. Complete the setup, let's check out the new Android 13 about phone section. So here at the top there is a Cherish OS logo, Android version is 13. It has the same Android 12 material you easter egg but the animation is different like this but I think it's not working here it may be fixed in the upcoming builds. Cherish OS version is Cherish OS Beta 4.0. Device I am using is the OnePlus 6 Enchilada and the maintenance is the amazing developer Vikasa Optimus. Android security patch is of August 2022. The build date is of 28th August 2022. Kernel is the Primus and its version is 4.9.258. Build it with the Proton Clang Toolchain version 12. Say so Linux is the info saying. Let's check out what's working and what's not working in the ROM. Wafa and the Wafa hotspot both are working, but I didn't see in the 5 words Wafa setting in the Wafa hotspot. NFC is available, but its bug is sometimes it's work and sometimes not. GPS location is working with the good accuracy. Bluetooth is working and it's connecting to my Oppo Echno M31 earphones with the LDAC codec support. Audio in the speaker is also working and it's enough loud. OnePlus Signature Allo Slider is working along with the notifications. OLT incoming and outgoing calls are working. There is a call recording in the dialer. It seems recording the calls. But I did not find the call recording files elsewhere in the storage. Auto brightness is also working very well. ROM has the unlimited photo backup. ROM is passing the safety net. So no worry about the banking related applications. Wide one is on the L3 so you can't stream Netflix and the Amazon Prime at the full HD resolution. Fingerprint is working and is blazing fast. I tested all the sensors using the Android application called as the device info and everything is working especially vibration, light sensor, ear proximity, microphone, ear speaker, multi-touch and display. Other sensors like the gyroscope, accelerometer, magnetometer, proximity, light sensor, all of these major sensors are working. Next is the camera, ROM has the basic camera application so I used the Google Cam MGC build. It has the working night cam photo with the portrait mode for the front and the back cam are working. But when I took the normal picture with the selfie cam it's not getting saved in the storage. For the video recording slow motion not working but time lapse videos are working. Panorama and the photosphere both modes are working. Video recording is not supported at 4K 60fps, 60fps is only supported for the 180p resolution. So most of the things are working in the ROM with the minor bugs. Now let's check out the performance of the ROM using the Geekbench but the initial impression of ROM is amazing. The new code base of Android 13 is based on the smooth and the lag free performance. It's feeling in every touch, ROM seems fast and fluid. After testing the Geekbench I got 508 for the single core and 1934 for the multi core. 
which is pretty good score and closer to the average results of Geekbench. For OpenGL drivers, I got the score of 2266, which is also very good score. On the Hulkan graphics, I got the score of 1928, which is also higher than the average results of Geekbench. Overall, in the Geekbench stage, ROM outperform in the every segment. Let's check out which features are available in the ROM. Though the ROM is in early beta stage, still they have implemented lots of the feature in the ROM. There is a separate tab, Cherry setting, where all the status bar, quick setting, themes, etc. like customizations are gathered together. In the status bar, we guess the new network traffic indicator except that all old status bar customizations are there. Under the themes tab, we guess the lots of headline or the body fonts. Icon packs are available for the status bar and system icons. Account shapes for the home screen and app drawer applications, separate signal icon style, separate Wi-Fi icon styles are implemented in the themes tab. Some tabs are blank in the setting like the animation because this customization will be added in the upcoming builds. Lock screen setting has the media cover art and it's working very well. It has bunch of the tunables like the media cover filter, blur amount slider for the lock screen media art. All these giving amazing looks to the lock screen. Except this other tab has the old customization and some customization tabs are blank and they will be added in the upcoming builds. ROM comes with the OnePlus setting which has the mute media volume toggle, automatic and the manual high brightness toggle, DC dimming, FPS overlay setting, vibration strength setting and all are working fine. Only off screen touch screen gesture seems broken and not working. So what are the new features in Android 13? I will just tell you them quickly here. You can check the right side iCard video to see them in details. In quick setting panel now the power menu and the setting has been shifted to the bottom and it has the new active application tab. When you tap on it, it will show you the background running applications. By tapping on the stop icon, you can close them and save more battery. On lock screen, if there are a bunch of the notifications are available, then they get staggered to combine notification with only icons visible at the bottom of the panel and can be quickly expanded by tapping on them. In the styles and wallpaper application, now new different wallpaper and basic color options are available, which gives the amazing look to overall system monet theming. In the notification panel, ongoing music track will be shown with the new media art cover with the new stop and the resume buttons. New copy menu is available whenever you copy any text, it will be available at the top of the keyboard and there you can again edit the text and share it to anyone. Except that other underhood improvement can be seen in the privacy performance Bluetooth codecs which are welcome addition in new Android 13 Tiramisu version. Last we will ask what are the bugs if everything seems ok. Actually until now I didn't see any major bug except the NFC but still the bug of hey google not working for me is visible here again and if you keep the toggle enabled all the media playback will have some lag in the audio and the videos. Next bug I found when you try to use the freeform window, apps opens in the freeform and can be minimized and expanded by tracking the corners. But when you try to restore the window it still remains minimized and we need to close and reopen the application to get its original size. Except that everything seems ok but sometimes you may be laggy if some extra notification like persistent media notification is running in the notification panel. Battery life will be tested when we will get the stable build update. So this is all about the new beta release of the Cherry OS on the Android 13 and it seems pretty well without the major issues and can be used as a daily driver if you want. I am waiting for all the major ROMs now which will release their own Android 13 builds and I will review all of these builds. So to get the notification of all these videos, please do like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.